This lecture is a form of corporate training that will describe in detail how to suggest, sell, present, and pour wine in a fine dining establishment. As a server or sommelier, it is your responsibility to provide your guest with the appropriate food, beverage, and atmosphere they seek for their personal occasion. In fine dining especially, people are looking for skilled and educated staff to make suggestions and guide them along their dining experience. Being educated on wine styles, brands, and food pairings is an excellent start in your professionalism table side. It is up to you whether your guests have the ultimate evening or leave disappointed. Knowing how to sell more expensive brands of wine will not only benefit the company, but also ensure that you go home with more money at the end of the night. So let's start with some simple food pairings. In general, white wine goes well with things like lighter colored meats, such as poultry or fish, salads, veggies, and light pastas. Red wines go best with darker meats, such as beef, pork, lamb, or heartier pasta dishes. Say your guest orders the salmon or shrimp plate. Good wines to suggest would be Pinot Grigio, Riesling, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, or even a sparkling wine. If your guest orders a steak, your go-to suggestion would be a Cabernet Sauvignon. The harshness of the tannins in the wine works to break down the proteins in the steak and can also act as a red sauce to complement the flavors in your plate. Other good red suggestions would be Merlot, Malbec, Carmenier, or Shiraz. Pinot Noir and Zinfandel go better with milder meats such as lamb, pork, or duck. It is also important to know your dessert wines and pairings. Dessert wines are typically very sweet, and your main goal is to choose a wine that is as sweet or sweeter than the dessert in front of your guest, so that the wine is not overshadowed by the sugar content in the dessert. Popular dessert wines include port, sherry, or moscato. When you have a rich dessert such as cheesecake or fudge-based cakes, it is best to choose a port or sherry due to the body of the wine and increased alcohol content. If you're enjoying a key lime pie or sorbet, go for the lighter moscato. It is also very important to know which glass to serve your wine in. Serving a wine in an inappropriate glass will only make you look uneducated and cause an educated guest to question your ability. Serve red wines in large, wide, stemmed, or stemless glasses, white wines in narrower, narrower tall stemmed glasses, sparkling wines in stemmed flutes, and dessert wines in cordial glasses or aperitifs. So, once your guest has selected the bottle of wine they wish to drink, the next important step is presentation. Make sure you have a white cloth draping over your forearm and present the label towards the person who ordered the bottle. Have the varietal, brand, region, and vintage memorized beforehand so that you do not have to glance down at the bottle while speaking about the wine to your customer. Once you have gained approval from the guest, go ahead and begin opening the bottle. Start by removing the foil around the top of the bottle using the knife on your corkscrew. Angle the tip of the corkscrew straight into the cork and twist as it makes its way all the way through the cork. Use the metal attachment on the side of the corkscrew to push against the lip of the bottle and pull the cork out. Be sure to not use the table or your knee as support. You should be able to do this all in two hands. Wipe off any excess or dripping wine with your white cloth. You want to first pour about two ounces into the glass of the person who ordered the wine. They will observe, smell, and taste the wine before giving you approval to pour for the rest of the table. Begin by pouring a full glass, about four to five ounces, for the eldest woman at the table. Pour the rest of the women, and then pour for the men. End by finishing the full pour for the person who sampled the wine first. Set the remainder of the bottle on the table. 
Now let's talk about aerating the wine. When a table orders a full-bodied, robust red, sometimes opening up the wine and introducing air can increase customer perceived value and bring out more of the aromas. You can use this by using a piece of equipment called a decanter. By pouring the wine straight from the bottle into a larger glass container that is wider at the bottom, you allow the wine to have more surface area come in contact with oxygen. You would then pour or let the guests pour from the decanter into each wine glass. You may also want to keep white or sparkling wines on ice. If the guest asks for their wine to be chilled, you should set up a chiller with ice either on the table or beside the table on a stand. Lastly, if the table has unfinished wine and they wish to take the remainder home, you should push the cork back into the bottle as far as you can, place it in a sealable wine bag, and accompany it with a receipt. This allows for safe and legal transport of the unopened bottle home with the customer. By following these guidelines, you have done your job as a server, a guide, and a sommelier. You have ensured that your customers have received beneficial suggestions, excellent wine service, and the correct atmosphere for indulging in great food and wine. Cheers!